Hey, it's James Sean for Electrical. Holy Jesus! What is that? Today's video, we're gonna start it well. <laughs> so we're doing, a, we're doing a fuse board installation in the hotel. But yeah, first of all, we're at Big Bite, Sandwich by York. Oh, look at that little bit. Look at that for a sandwich. So we've had Danny from Rip My Takeaway. Now then guys, how are you doing? Down as well, doing the... Uh, the, uh, the the product review or whatever what, what you want to call it, a food review on it. What, what did he think of it? He got the baby's arm, didn't he? And he absolutely he loved, loved it. it. So it's awesome food. So it's a nice way to start the day. Look at my head. I've been attacked over the weekend. I'll tell you about that later. Right then. So what we're going to do then, we're going to get into the job then. So yeah, this is the hotel we're working at. So we'll get a few bits out. So we're fitting a big 20 wear fuse board. So it's the... Have a look, I'll show you this little beast. It is the F2020 MX or Max, so it's the biggest, widest fuse bar they do. So it's going to allow for 20 ways, which is going to power up loads of ovens and cookers and all sorts. So that's going to be going on in phase two for this hotel. But first, let's get all this stuff out then. So we've got, got, uh, got to get loads of fixing drills, let's bag some screws and bits. Let's get it all out then. Right, we're in. So, yeah. This is what we're going to deal with. So it's a bit uh, making. Well, we got it's, it's a mess in it really. There's just look at all this, all them bundles of joy in there. So what we're going to have to do is put another fuse board in, which will cover all this section. We can show you the plans later to so show you what we're going to refeed and that. But this is it. So what we're going to have to do. This is all coming out of this boxing section. So we're going to, have to smash all this out, and then that'll give us a bit of access above. So what we're going to do is put that big fuse board probably over here uh really i want to get some containment into that somehow so i might put some maybe i don't even know it's a right mess this man but anyway yeah we might we might go for like an l so we might come down go across and then stop and then get it in line with the edge of the fuse board so you'll just see a fuse board here we can cut through the bottom come into this to the bottom of the fuse board there i think it'll look somewhat neat ish yeah it's gonna be a right mess it's, but we're, we're basically polishing a turd here so um normally if this was a full rewire you'd rip all this out you get your main tails coming in and then you build something beautiful but that's not gonna happen here is it so yeah right then so what we'll do then we'll bash this box out and then crack on then yeah so we've got this switch that attached to this bat box but you're not supposed to do that yeah so we've got the views the, the little earth terminal there's a neutral block, nice. So, and it's all cracked, so we're gonna have to, we're not gonna keep this that way. So we'll probably end up disconnecting all this, wherever this goes. Let's bash him out then. So, we should just go to hammer it, I think. There we go. That's that side done. Lovely. One door off. There we go then, so that's all out now. So then, we've got a nice blank canvas to work with. So as you can see, it's a right little mess. So we're basically polishing a turd on this job. So what we're gonna have to do then, all the cables are gonna come down here. Phase two then, so there's gonna be flats and long, well, hotel room after hotel room with loads of ovens and appliances and stuff like that we're gonna power up. So all them cables are gonna come through along down through that section <clears throat> we've already got four cables in for stuff already for some other rooms so yeah we just need to tidy everything up then basically so if we get some big maybe 150 by 150 trunking coming down across and then an end cap we can fit that fuse board we showed you onto there then and then uh, yeah all the cables could come down there and into that the tails could come along route its way through up into the bottom of the plastic trunking and then feed the fuse board so that's what we're doing then lads. So but first, look at all this mess. And there's just rubbish everywhere. So what we're gonna do then is get all this cleared. I'm gonna nip off to wholesalers. And if these lads do a decent job, we might have a surprise for them. All right then, so here's the surprise. I've got them. Because they're doing a tier level thing. They don't get paid. They just turn up and get the experience from the top electrician. But there we go. I've got them some CK, three in one combi cutters. Got one of them each. So got one of them each, and then we've got them. Um, Where 
I wear a look at that. So it's a 17 piece. Basically, they'll, it's what I use. I've never had to get another screwdriver. Um, and it comes with two handles, so they would be absolute buzzing. So let's see their reaction. So I'm going to get that right at the end of the apprenticeship. Um, I thought they might as well get it now. Well, not apprenticeship, but the end of the T-level, um, 30 weeks or whatever. Um, but I thought I'd get them in now so they can use it and uh, get used to their new screwdrivers. I thought that would that were pretty cool. Um, just get them a new set of everything. Let's see how they've done then. Oh, it's looking very tidy, right? You need a hoover. No, it's looking good. Nice and tidy. So if you just jumped up around then we'll get to come taping out. But that's yeah, definitely passed the test there. Not bad. Look at this. <laughs> Had to do some uh, dodgy to get this, this tray down without having to chop it. So here we go, let's, uh, let's undo the... Uh, don't open it, I'm going to snap this. There we go. Oh, Had to tie it around loads of different places to get into. Yeah, we'll, have to, we'll have to strip that cable I think. There we go. Yeah, so there's that tray to bring in. Get that in a bit. So uh, we're going to put some metal tray. They didn't have the, the 150 by 150, so I'm hoping everything will fit in that. So it might be a little bit tight, um, but we should be loads of play with that. Top cables can kind of come through and then drop through into a fuse board, can't they? Oh. I've sorted these in. So open that up then. Whoa. Look at that. So I got you some snips each. Oh wow! Look at that. Thank you. And we've yeah, got. So right. And you got a full-on wearer set. So it's the same set that I've got. Oh, two uh, two it. screwdrivers. And you got a, you got a 70 piece. Yeah. Look at that. That's great. Yeah. So I thought that'll get you get you away in your electrical journey. What do you think? Yeah, it's really good. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, isn't it? Yeah. Do you. Oh, let's have a look at him. Look at that little wow. beauty. Nice get a little velcro thing so you can yeah. stick it somewhere and stick it. It's got a little belt loop. There you go, look at that little beast. You have a play wow. with that. It. It's all interchangeable. You've got all your little flat sizes there. You've got your TX bits, so they're good for like cooker terminals and stuff like that. You've got, so you've got PZ, and then you've got some fuse board ones as well, which we've got both. There you go, that'll do you lads. <laughs> Is it a good, good surprise then? That's a neat surprise. Yeah, really, yeah. Really Is that why nice I was asking surprise. which one we'd have in? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you went, oh, what one you've got? Oh, good. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do then is get this chopped then. So this is going to essentially, we've measured from there to where we want it. It's going to flip upwards. So what we're going to do is take this section out then. So we've done them out where we want it. We've done a 100 mil that way, a 100 mil that way. So we're going to do a little slice down the back, slice down here, a little V here. And then we're going to take out just this section here. And then we've got to flap it up. This will become a little flap which will slot under here and we can get two little bolts which will hold it all together nicely. So let's get into this. There we go then, so we've got a little V then, so when we, this goes from here all the way up, up right on the 90, this should match up. We've cut all the way on the back so that can get that, do to get into that? There we go, so what we have to do now, we want to keep this as a flap. So we've got, to, we've got to cut along here, and then we could do that or we can, let's have a look. Yeah, we'll, we'll cut along here, so when we flap that back up, this can slide under here, and we get two fixings in. So next, what we're gonna do is just slice along here, or we could just cut along here, like that, and then we can, flat, we can actually file the edge and bend it off, see the way. <laughs> There we go, that's that file beautifully then. So what we've done is ground down this side. And then what we can do then is just give me a little wiggle. In fact, let's get a little bit doing this. Nice and fast. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. There we go, look at that. So you get that perfect snapped edge. I'm just gonna file that down now. And then what happens is we're then gonna come we to gotta yeah, I can't speak today. We're gonna come down there then with that. And then what happens is this can then flap up. So when you do bend it in. These two pieces will cross over and we can get a bolt through that and then this will slide under here and we'll get a bolt through that and have a, we'll have a perfect 90 bend in the trunk kit. So let's take this front edge off then, so we'll zip up there and zip across there, zip across the back. Beautiful. <whistles> Bit of fire loop. Right, ready for the great ascend then. So this goes up, like that. That goes under, yep, and then once we get to the top, 
I'll have to bend this upwards so that will fit inside there perfectly. So there's a bit of rejigging to do, but that'll finish like that. This will flap straight up and we'll get two bolts through that so it sits perfectly on a 90. There we go. Hey hey. And there we go, that's his tray in then. So we've stuffed it up then. Uh, so what we've got, that's his that's that little flap. We've got two little fixes in there, so that's nice and uh, solid. The other method of doing it is where you you'd mark up where you want it to bend. You measure 100 mil or the, the width of the trunk in. 100 mil that way, 100 mil that way. You chop the full section out, and then when you bend it up, it's all right. But all these would be flapping like this, and same for that. So it's good to have that little flap in. Anchor that, and then that's not going in anyway. And we've also got a little little fixing through the back here, so that's absolute solid. So and um, what we do is got the set square up there, but we thought we'd offer it up just because if that's not level, it's gonna look out. So we've actually done it, um, legit like a sorry parallel to this. So when that's nice and tight in there, and I've got like a little gap all the way from top to bottom, and that's level, then this still works nicely. So it should look really cool, right there. So what I'll have to do is get the fuse board mat under there, and we'll have to cut like a big section out of this. Uh, kind of grommet strip it and then the same again for the fuse board side and then we can start getting some cables through and get this powered up as far as the main side then we'll have to come up through here and gland it into there then so that sorts out so here's the beast then anyway oh, let's try and pick it up with one hand so I'm just going to offer him up then you just uh, push it onto the wall lads right so this is going to go on here then so I'll get some grommet strip between now there may be some cables, some armoured cables to come out of this. So we might leave it a little bit longer and then we could actually land into here. So we could come out of the ceiling, get a few fixings in, you know, for the armoured fixings, the cleats, and then actually land into the top of this. So what we might do is leave the width, let's make sure that doesn't fall, and in maybe the end of this, we could, we could actually chop it maybe here then. And then we've, we've got some uh, fixing points there for armoured cables to land into then, potentially, which might be a good shout. Then all the rest of the cables can come through down the trunk here and up into the new board. There we go, we've got his end cap on now then, so that's beautiful. And we've uh, rounded off the edges. So this end cap comes all stuck out, all spiky. And that's lovely, lovely. So that's what, uh, that's what it looks like. So I want to get the lid on, all these corners, you won't see any of that. You just have a nice mitered corner once the lid's on. But now what we're going to do then is open this up. <coughs> what we're going to have to do, we want load all these cable entries. Yeah, just to make things easier, I think what we'll do is on the Hager boards, the top of them, or the three phase ones, the top actually comes off and then there's a massive hole all the way along around like this. So we're going to do a similar thing with these. So we'll probably cut a, I think it's a 32mm hole, this end, that end, draw a line between and then angle grind it off and then put some, some uh, grommet strip all the way along here. And same again for this side. Sorry, we're not going to do it on that side, we're going to do it on the bottom. <laughs> so there'll be a big, big, it might be a 40 or a 32, and then we're going to cut out a massive slot, match that onto the bottom, cut both sides out, grommet strip both, and then that'll be good to go then. And then we'll uh, make sure it matches up, then we'll mount this on the wall, mount this on the wall, we're going to get some fixing holes, so we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Get him mounted, get this mounted, get the tails in. And then we're kind of ready to go. That, that fuse bar to be ready for the cables to come down this end all the way around and into here. Then obviously we've got to earth this as well, so we'll have to tag that up. So there we go. That's what's involved next. So there we go. That's that chunking up then. So that's looking nice, neat, and sweet. Obviously we've got to get the cables to swoop in on that. We've got to still earth it. Uh, but that's looking great. So I've got this last amount of the board. So that's the board mounted. So see, once the lid gets on, that'll actually bring that up. It's a bit flappy, flappy at the moment, just because it's uh, it's uh, it's not got the lid on. So what we'll have to do then is obviously uh, get all this populated. So all the RCBOs for the circuits going in. What we'll have to do is obviously chop these, have these coming up, tie wrap to that, and then just nip it in. So circuit one to 20, we'll go one to 20 here. So that's what they'll do, and then all your circuits will just wire line and neutral in, line and neutral, line and neutral. And all your earth view circuits will just nip up here. So it should be, uh, we've got loads of ways there for this project. So there's four cables to go in for phase one. They'll power up four ovens, so a double oven and, uh, what's the other thing? Double oven and induction hob. So we'll, we can get them powered up. And then obviously we've got to get the main tails in. So down here then, we've got, uh, let's have a look, end the connector block down here, so I'll have to bring, I know it's a right mess in it. 
<laughs> so what we'll have to do is get uh, two 25 mil tails from there up, bang it through a 40 mil gland or whatever, uh, or one of them fuse board glands. So land in earth and we'll come up through and then just live and neutral to power up and then that will be this job done. Hey uh, here then, so we got that chunking up, we got the fuse board on, so we have to leave because they've, uh, they're locking up. Uh, but yeah, it's looking great. We've got a nice bit, bit of chunking down. We'll learn how to do that, how to cut it, what to chop out. So it can be a bit confusing when you first do it and like for which way it bends. Um, what do you think, little lads? Is it not too bad? It was alright. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was good. I, I enjoyed doing the chunking. Um, yeah, that was that was interesting. It was good, wasn't it? And uh, make sure we had the safety glasses on and his ear defenders so we, we didn't uh, kill ourselves. But yeah, it was good seeing all the sparks flying out everywhere and get everything cutting off the, the right bits it's uh yeah, it's not easy but yeah we got it in it's looking great uh, obviously that whole cupboard is knackered in it lads it's uh it's a bit it's a bit worse for wear shall we say all that all that area but we're just trying to the, the people didn't want to rewire everything so obviously it's a massive cost um so we're just trying to make do with what we or what we got so yeah we're just uh all the all the new stuff should look really neat um, but yeah, so we've got loads of cables going to there for phase two. So you should see some more videos about this uh, hotel and how we wind it up. But yeah, that's all we've got time for today then. So hit the, if you like this kind of content, hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification so you know when we next upload. So that's a good one for me and these lads. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, I forgot to tell the story. So it's been a, it's been a day since uh, we filmed that video. <laughs> I just remembered. So then. The egg on the head. In fact, we'll string this out a bit. I'm gonna give you three options. I want you to comment on the video. So option one, I got in a fight with someone. They were ended up worse off for me, but I ended up whacking them and I got uh, for being punched on the head. So that's a little bruise. That's option one, was it that story? Was it option two? Um, a lot of people have been saying love bite. Was it a love bite? Someone suck it on your head? I think that's option two. And then option three, uh, a child's toy stuck on my head. You'll let me know in the comments below. Find out on next week's video.